As you guys know, at the State of the Union address, Biden used the word illegal to describe Lake and Riley's alleged murderer. It was an accurate way to describe him, but Democrats didn't like it, so Biden had to go on TV and set things straight. And what he said was pretty unbelievable. Check it out. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not going to do, what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing. We have to control the border and, and more orderly flow, but I, I don't share his view at all. Oh, man. There is a lot to unpack in this short clip. First, he said that he should have used the word undocumented and not illegal. That's because of the way the left uses language to make the things they advocate for sound okay, like abortion is health care, or chemically castrating a child is affirming care. Using the word undocumented makes it sound like they've done nothing wrong and that we're to blame for their situation. That's how the left want the issue to be viewed, so that we'll feel bad and grant amnesty to millions of people, people who would likely become another voting bloc for Democrats. Then Biden sets himself apart from Trump by insinuating that Trump called illegal aliens vermin, which never happened. The vermin quote from Trump had nothing to do with people from other countries. It was actually about the people Biden is trying to get back into good graces with for using the word illegal to describe an illegal. Here's that quote from Trump. We pledge to you that we will root out the communists, Marxists, fascists, and the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country. Then Biden added that Trump talks about these people polluting the blood, as if Trump advocates for keeping the white bloodline of America pure or something. Trump has used the phrase, poisoning the blood of the country. But could a leader of a melting pot country like the United States mean that phrase to be something akin to Hitler talking about not mixing Jewish and German blood? The fact of the matter is that America has never had a bloodline to keep pure. Here's how Trump explained what he meant by it on the Hugh Hewitt radio show. When you look at it and you look at what's coming in, we have from all over the world, not one group. They're coming in from Asia, from Africa, from South America. They're coming from all over the world. They're coming from prisons. They're coming from mental institutions and insane asylums. They're terrorists. Absolutely. That's poisoning our country. That's poisoning the blood of our country. And that's what's happening. And we're not talking about a specific group. We're talking about these are, this is equal opportunity. After lying about his opponent, Biden went on to praise illegal aliens by saying that they built the country and that they're the reason the economy is growing. So all of those illegal aliens in shelters across the country are the reason our economy is growing? And when did they build this country? These two claims are so outrageous that no one could possibly defend them. Imagine if the MSNBC interviewer was actually a journalist and not a propagandist and hit him with a follow-up question. Mr. President, what do you mean that illegal aliens built this country? He would have no answer. And if Peter Ducey asks Corrine Jean-Pierre about it, she'll blink a lot and say something like, the president just meant that the undocumented also contribute to this great country. I kind of wonder if Biden's going to have to do another interview to apologize to black Democrats who claim that slaves built the country. Now, the last thing he said in this clip really gives away the Democrats' intention on the border. In the State of the Union address, Biden claimed that the Senate's immigration bill is the toughest, most efficient, most effective border security bill this country's ever seen. But what did he just say in this interview? We have to control the border and have more orderly flow. And that is their goal and what their immigration bill would do. It would bring illegal aliens into the country faster and with more rights. So in one answer to a softball question intended for him to apologize for going off script and using the word illegal to describe an illegal alien, Biden managed to lie about Trump being a racist and calling illegal aliens vermin. Then he gave credit to illegal aliens for building our country and currently growing our economy and then exposed that his tough talk on the border was nonsense and that the Senate's border bill has been characterized accurately by House Republicans. 
this answer to a question designed to allow Biden a chance to apologize for offending the far left should create a much bigger controversy. If Democrats or their media mouthpieces were honest, it would. Biden's comment was completely out of touch with reality and the American people, and quite possibly the greatest example of pandering ever seen. His comments should outrage the American people. And that's the simple truth. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you all want to support this channel, check out the links in the description and let's keep putting some common sense back into the great debate.